short week, Navy. I I feel really good about yeah. this game. Sixteen I, point favorites. Yeah, should. Yeah, and usually there's always the concern with Navy of oh the triple option, and we know Memphis's defense is typically pretty leaky, but with the way that this defense and specifically this front seven has played in the first two games, I am the le- I have the least <laughs> amount of concern I've had going into a Navy game in the last my, five or six years. My only concern is one, okay, yeah, they played good defense against a different concept than the triple option. Can they do it? I think Matt Barnes has shown an ability to do that. And even before that, you had Mike McIntyre. That was that 10-7 to 7 game that they won on the road right. at Navy. So, like, I think that – the more they've seen Navy over the years, they understand how to defend the damn triple option, and they practice it in, in fall camp. They practice it, you know, in spring camp because they always want to be ready for it. So I, I think they'll be fine. My my concern, though, Christian, is uh, injuries. Like you have a lot of depth up front, and the front seven's been performing at a high level. You don't want to have guys go down, and yeah. we know that in a Navy game, got guys diving all over Cutting. at legs. Uh, scramble blocking at your legs. Yeah. You just you want to win this game and convincingly and stay healthy. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And with it's you. a short week. That's the other part. And, and talking about the triple option, like it, it is a different defense to defend for most teams because you don't see it. But the counter to that is having eleven guys flying to the ball. Yep, that that is it. If you've got guys gang tackling and your safeties are coming up and making hits and your linebackers are flying around, it's going to be hard for any team to run the ball 40-plus times yeah. a game. Gap integrity and just tackle who you're supposed to tackle. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. And now they have the size up front to play against that. That's yep. been a problem in years past is they just haven't had the size and they've kind of been bullied at the point of attack. I just don't see that happening with guys like – Derek Hunter up there. I just don't no. see him getting pushed back. And by the way, lot. he's listening at 265. Ain't no damn way he's no. 265, no. bro. Like, what are we talking about? I mean, I totally do I, not I, f- that. I find that unbelievable. Yeah. That just doesn't seem right. And Jara Anderson barely looks like he's 265. He yeah. looks like he's got some height to him. Where yeah, he's, he's, not, he's a little slender, he's, a little but slender. he's not 260. He looks a little taller a little than tall. that to where. Yeah, so I'm encouraged by sense. this game, even on a short week, because that's it's always Navy on a short week for the most part, and it's a lot of concern of okay, if they can get if Memphis can get over this game, then you know fans typically feel good about the rest of the season. This is a bad Navy team. This seems to be a very good Memphis defense. Like I'm just not, I just don't have many concerns about. This I game. want the offense to break out of their shell, though. This is the game where you need to show like Navy will play at least serviceable defense compared to the first two opponents. Yeah. Um, no pun intended, being that they're a service academy. But nice. they'll play some serviceable defense. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. They'll play some serviceable defense, and I I want to see them break out of their shell and try to differentiate schemes and try to sort of put it on Navy. Yeah. And I think that goes. this is the same thing as it was for the Arkansas State game for me. Leave no doubt. Yeah. These are games that in the past two years you've let be closer than they should be. Yeah. Go in them early, often, keep putting it on them.